Putin may prepare nuclear strike on Ukraine from Belarus. As a result of nuclear exercises conducted by Russia and Belarus, it is likely that tactical nuclear missiles will strike the territory of Ukraine, according to Charter 97 media outlet. It is noted that Belarus joined Russia in the second stage of nuclear exercises. Russian President Vladimir Putin stated this in Moscow. According to him, the relevant instruction was given to the ministries of defense and the general staffs of the two countries. This time, they are held in three stages. At the second stage, Belarusian counterparts will join our joint actions, he stressed. Belarusian President Lukashenko confirmed this and stressed that the first stage of the country's nuclear exercises was held separately, but we decided that we should synchronize and hold the second and third stages together. Lukashenko said, according to him, the general staff have already begun it. On May the 6th, Russia began preparations for the exercises of missile formations of the Southern Military District and the Navy soon. It is planned to work out issues of the use of non-strategic nuclear weapons. In addition, we recall that back in 2023, Russia launched ships with tactical nuclear weapons into the sea. Charter 97 media outlet says that past major Russian-Belarusian exercises in early 2022 led to a large-scale Russian offensive in Ukraine, including from the territory of Belarus. It is possible that during these joint nuclear exercises, tactical nuclear missiles may strike Ukraine. Possible place of strikes is in the west of Ukraine in order to stop the supply of weapons to the Ukrainian army within the framework of American and European assistance. It is noted that the underestimation of threats in the past, the attempt to consider Russian-Belarusian militaristic measures a bluff, has already led to disastrous consequences. It is possible to argue with experts how expedient and effective such a step is from a military point of view, but the fact that two insane elderly dictators in the war against Ukraine are ready to take any, even the most insane, steps is obvious. Recall that the famous American analyst and historian Yuri Felshtinsky has long been warning about the likelihood of attacks from the territory of Belarus on neighboring countries. Charter 97 media outlet says that the threat of nuclear strikes from the territory of Belarus significantly increases the likelihood of retaliatory strikes against military facilities and decision-making centers in the Republic of Belarus, including two Russian military bases, the communication center of the Russian Navy in Vileka and the radar station between Baranavishi and Hansavishi, which are actively used by Russia in the war against Ukraine. Greece uses military ships to deter Russian oil tankers. The Greek military fleet has extended its series of exercises to counter the transfer of oil between Russian tankers, reports Bloomberg. The Greek Navy has announced that it will conduct exercises until May the 19th in the Gulf of Laconia. This area is where the transfer of Russian oil takes place. The source indicates that the exercises are intended to deter oil transfers. When Greece first announced the drills last week, tankers quickly evacuated the area, gathering to the south instead, Bloomberg reports. It is noted that oil transfers occur outside Greece's direct territorial waters, so Athens couldn't combat this process. However, it's unclear what changed since Greece decided to take a more assertive stance. Denmark previously conducted a similar action in the Baltic Sea region. The US, EU and Australia have imposed a cap on prices for Russian oil and petroleum products to reduce Kremlin revenues in response to the war against Ukraine. Meanwhile, Russia is attempting to circumvent the sanctions using various methods. In February, it was reported that Greek companies had stopped trading in raw Russian oil following intensified U.S. sanctions targeting shipping companies. Following Russia's invasion of Ukraine in 2022, international sanctions have made trading Russian crude and oil products increasingly difficult, prompting traders to seek loopholes to export them, including offshore ship-to-ship -ship transfers. In recent months, waters around Greece's southern coast and the Laconian Gulf have been meeting oil transfer points, especially for tankers carrying Russian oil, onto other vessels. Vessels are positioned beyond the limit of six nautical miles from the shore to avoid cargo and vessel checks by Greek authorities. You cannot perform an inspection on a ship with a foreign flag in international waters. Unless a vessel carries a Greek flag, your hands are tied, said a source with knowledge of the matter. The European Commission is expected to propose sanctions on oil tankers in the so-called Shadow Fleet that transports Russian oil outside the group of seven countries, oil price cap limit, European Union sources told Reuters last month.